I was preparing uh, five buntings for a long frame, six by 24. And so I started, I wanted to do two males and three females. And um, I went and put it in the six by 24, just laid them in there and they just kind of look swallowed up, too much frame. So anyway, I'll show you what I did later. But this is the male and it's got an open beak and um, I put a little, you know, pink rim around the eye. That's one of the details of that bird. And then this is the second male bird that uh, I'm working on. I'm holding the camera with one hand and trying to pick off the fuzz with the other hand. So bear with me here. And uh, this is the other bird. He's going to sit on top. I've needle felted both sides, so there'll be wings on both sides because they're going to be on top of the frame, and you can see it, you know, on both sides. These are the female heads that I have ready to go. I got the eyes in there, the clay beak that's already uh, hand painted. And I'll be making their bodies, and you'll see that in another video of uh, part two or three. And then that's the third female. So, um, see that needle sticking right through the head there. Yeah. So those are ready to roll. And uh, I'll finish up this male and pair it with female and uh, put them in their own separate frames. I did this one. She's going to sit inside the frame, kind of looking out. I really don't have to do a wing here because she's going to be right up against the backboard. You see her little, little foot there. I'm going to have clutching around the edge of the frame. And then this one, she's going to be on top looking down. So, see the little feathers there? I'm probably going to put her this way because this is a nice design right here. And so this is the last one I'm working on. And she's going to be, hmm, what's going on? What's going on? And so I'm working on that. Now this one here, I did not use the felt. I'm trying making the tails just right out of the beige batting that I used to make the whole body with. And I think these came out pretty good. This one needs a haircut terribly. You can see, look at that. All right, so my engineer will take care of that for me, Magnus. He's a good hair cutter. So, there's my reference. And what was I doing? Oh yeah, I had put my foot in, so I'm gonna mix these colors. I took the ochre color and the yellow color. A little bit of this and a little bit of that and I'm going to mix these two together to put on the belly and just separate and shuffle separate and shuffle until you get it mixed the way you want put it under here because it seems to me it needs a little more stomach than what I've got. Today I'm working from home and so I'm not in the studio. You can hear the morning doves in the background. We've been feeding the birds. Starts off with a little bird feeder. And now it looks like they're going through 20 pounds a week. <laughs> Maybe not 20 pounds, but goodness gracious. 
Okay. So, now I'm going to take uh, some of this green. Some of this ochre. I'm going to mix this together to make the back color. I don't want this too bright or it looks hokey. Okay, so I'm going to put some of that on there. I'm going to splay this out. I'm going to start up here. I've already put the white rim around the eye. Okay, and see it's not really round, it's rather angular. But I don't know, that's a preference call. Sometimes if it's straight it makes the bird look mean. We had a very successful farmer's market this past Saturday. I think it sold six pieces. First one out of the gate was the bat. Can you believe that? I need to show you my bat. It hangs upside down in a frame. It's awesome. Now this bird I think is going to be a one-sided bird so I don't have to pay too much attention to this side. <laughs> 